here, I'm showcasing all of my settings for Modern Warfare 3. Headed into the brand new Warzone. Basically just going through and telling you guys exactly what you should be putting on. So your game can look the absolute best and be feeling the absolute best. So of course, stay tuned for that because I'll also slide you guys all of my controller settings. But real quick, I want to give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. Top directly into it. Alright, starting off with the first tab is the keyboard and mouse tab. But unfortunately, I don't play keyboard or mouse. So if you guys are coming to this video looking for these settings, I unfortunately cannot help you with this. But hopping directly into the controller tab. Most likely the most important tab of the entire video. Obviously, we are playing on controller. We have the default button layout because I do play on an AIM PS5 controller with four back paddles, allowing me to never take my thumbs off my analog sticks. So I have X, circle, triangle, and square as all four of my back paddles, allowing me to slide, drop shot, dive, absolutely everything i have bumper ping turned off and i also have my flipped l1 l2 turned off stick layout like i said default i have controller vibration turned off which if you guys don't remember me saying this back in mw 2019 was my first call of duty ever turning this off i'm not too sure what it is with this game's engine but it's like the first game that i feel like the controller vibration affects your aim so of course this is all personal preference but for me i do have it turned off for the dead zone inputs this is just like the last war zone if you guys ran like 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 for me i ran 0.03.05 i'm running three on my left stick minimum with 99 on my maximum and then on my right stick i'm running five minimum and 99 maximum and then of course for the left and right trigger i am running zero zero so like i said for me i was running 0.03 and 0.05 which now translates in this game to three and five so match what you were running in the last war zone and get this all situated for yourself i'll hop in directly from the controller tab right into the aiming tab i run seven seven sensitivity which i've been running since last war zone as well like i always tell you guys find a sensitivity that you're really comfortable with when it comes to movement and then fine tune the ads multiplier to make sure you can beam anybody you need to but like i said seven seven cents the sensitivity multiplier on 0 0.8 1.0 1.0 1.0 obviously i'm also using the ads custom multiplier down lower in the settings which lets me customize it per all the different scope zooms but scrolling down the vertical aim axis i have standard on all of them i have my tactical stand sensitivity multiplier at 1.0 just matching my other sensitivity of 77 my aim response curve type i do have on dynamic which if you guys don't know has been the best curve type since mw 2019 with my slope scale on 1.0 I have my ADS sense multiplier focus on 0.80 with my ADS sensitivity transition timing on instant. And then like I was saying a second ago, I have the custom sensitivity per zoom, which I run 0.80 on all the way from low zoom all the way through six through seven zoom. So like I always tell you guys, this is 100% personal preference going along with the sensitivity, find something that you're really comfortable with and fine tune it for yourself. Scrolling down even more, I have my target aim assist on, of course, because you guys are on controller. You guys know you have to be running this. My aim assist type is black ops, which I know in the last war zone was technically nerfed. This is just the aim assist that i feel the most comfortable with feels really snappy and i feel super accurate with it but hopping directly from the aiming tab into the gameplay tab we have automatic tactical sprint which is ats if you guys want to be flying around the map you absolutely need to turn this on it's 100 essential and it just lets you glide around the map auto move forward is off i have my tax sprint behavior on double tap but this doesn't even matter because i do have ats turned on my ground and mantle is off i have off off and then for my slide slash dive behavior this was for multiplayer i was running slide only because that's all that really mattered but with warzone coming back out i think i am going to swap this back to tap to dive but they did rumor that the key binds for dive and slide they're going to let us put it on two different buttons but like i said for warzone i think tap to dive is going to be the essential setting letting us dive from rooftop to rooftop plunging underwater i have on free parachute auto deploy i have turned off sprinting door bash i have on then i have mantle only on hold sprint tactical sprint focus hold ads plus melee medium ads plus down button on toggle and then of course i prioritize interact which like i was saying before i was running the last war zone a lot of these settings are my same old settings um obviously you could change this how you want to but i think prioritize interact is easily the best setting when it comes to war zone it lets you tap to reload tap to interact do everything unless you guys are in a vehicle or something i have apply one for my armor plate behavior which i've always been called weird for this you guys could definitely run apply all if you really want to i have off directional buttons for the backpack and then of course all this stuff is really personal preference as well and really just your settings but those are all my controller settings like i said probably the most important tab for this video go through give all of them a try and use them as like a base for your guys' settings and then fine tune it for yourself to where you're really comfortable with it but like i said those are the controller settings so let's hop directly into the graphic settings for the graphics tab obviously starting off rip we have the full screen exclusive which if you guys want the best possible performance out of your game you want to be on full screen exclusive this is my monitor i'm on the aw 2721d alienware which is a 1440p 240 hertz monitor 
monitor with the 4090 GPU. Obviously, like I said, I'm on 240 hertz. I have my aspect ratio on automatic. I have my display gamma on 2.2 sRGB, which if you guys don't know, the 2.2 sRGB is for monitors and the BT1886 is for like big TVs. But like I always tell you guys, if you guys are playing this game slightly casual or slightly more than casual, definitely get yourself on a monitor. It's a huge upgrade and you're on a huge disadvantage if you're playing on a massive TV. For the brightness, I'm running 49, but I usually always have this at 49 or like 51. I'm gonna keep mine at 49. It looks really good with the colors of the game. I have my NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on On Plus Boost. I have my Eco Mode preset on Custom because I have Off Off with my Unlimited Frame Rate. My Focus Mode I have on Zero. I did see some people running this on More. Not too sure what this even does. It says it adds an overlay to your game when it's in Focus. Obviously, run this how you want to run it. And then I have HDR turned off. I've always had it turned off from this game and even last game. Hopping directly into the Quality tab, we have the 100 Render Resolution matching my 1440p like my monitor. I have my Dynamic Resolution turned off. My Upscaling Size Sharpening is Fidelity FX CAS with the Strength on 80. My VRAM Scale Target is on 80 as well. And then going through all these settings, I'm going to go through really, really fast. But I'm running Normal Texture Resolution, Normal, Off, Low, Very Low, Off, Off, Low, Off. And then scrolling down even more, I have Low. And for the Shadow and Lighting, I have Normal, Off, 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 Low. Environment, I have Near, Max, Low, Off, Normal, and Off. But that's my Quality tab. Like I said, pause if you need it. Get all the settings for yourself so your game can look really good and run really good. Even though those settings are super low, trust me, the game still looks perfectly fine. Hopping directly into the view tab, I have 120 FOV, which I've been running all the way since Verdansk. There's a big myth that says this makes you lose aim assist, but I'm running 120 with affected ADS FOV. This is the really important setting. A lot of you guys run this on independent still, but if you guys run affected with 120, it completely gets rid of your visual recoil. My weapon field of view is on wide, so my gun's a little bit smaller. My third person is on 90, and my vehicle's on default. I have world and weapon motion blur turned off, which like I always tell you guys, there is absolutely no reason to have this turned on, unless you're trying to make one of those like corny TikToks. I have my film grain turned on zero, and then I have first, third, third, all on least camera movement at 50%. So my screen's not shaking uncontrollably for literally no reason. And then for me, I don't run inverted flashbang because every single time I get flashbang, my screen goes black. I feel like my game's crashing. But if you guys want to protect your eyes a little bit, make sure to turn that on. But overall, those are all my controller and graphic settings. Hopping directly into the audio tab. I'm running my audio on headphone settings, but like I always tell you guys, this is really personal preference and for you and for your setup. But like I said, you guys can run headphones, headphones, bass boost, PC speaker, really anything. But the rest of the settings, like I said, are really just for your setup. I have my master volume on 50 with 0, 20, 65, 8, and 0. Obviously change that how you want it and really how loud you want your game. I have my voice chat turned on. Like I said, all these settings really don't matter. They're really all just your settings, microphone, everything else. The one setting you guys do need to make sure you have turned off is mono audio. Like I said in the last Warzone, this takes all your directional audio and puts it all into one audio channel. Making to where you guys can't tell if someone's above you, below you, to your left or right. And it makes it to where you have no cues or understanding where anybody's at. So make sure you guys have that turned off. But like I said, most of the audio settings are all personal preference. You guys can try mine out and see if it helps you guys at all. But like I said, the audio in this game really doesn't improve that much from these settings. But hopping directly into the interface tab, I have my subtitles and stuff on default. For the color customization, I'm not running any colorblind type in this game. I just changed the one color for the enemy red. I made it the absolute brightest I possibly could. So if I ADS at him, I always see him through smoke or anything like that. And their little diamond above their head pops up scrolling down i do have the color filter 2 on with the color filter target on both world and menus for the world and interface i do have the intensity on 100 100 and that's the color customization hud bounds that's really just for you and your monitor mini map shape i do have on square no reason to have this on the circle anymore mini map rotation on horizontal compass turned on and of course crosshairs turned on but the main setting here is the center dot if you guys don't know and you guys don't have this turned on definitely get this turned on even when you guys don't have a crosshair for hardcore if you get stunned or anything like that the center dot is always Always there and for me is really helped with my centering and always being on target so like i said turn that on i have my scale on default and then i have on on full name on and fade after 10 seconds the telemetry is the boxes i have in the top left which i think is only a pc setting but it lets me see my fps my latency slash ping or my packet loss obviously if you guys want more things up there you can turn a whole lot more on but i like to keep mine clean looking and not have too much up there my label size i have on default connection meter you guys can turn this on as well i don't have it turned on in game alert icons i have on on then of course from there i have off on on off and automatic like i said those are all the settings a lot of the stuff is personal preference you guys can really tweak things how you guys want it make sure you feel the most comfortable with your controller settings and graphic settings but overall that's everything that i'm running so like i said go through and give every single setting a try use mine as a basis and then try to tweak it for yourself so you feel absolutely the most comfortable you can then go down to the comments below and let me know if it helps you guys out at all and if it does make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button that's it for the video